watched this one, but you're still an active participant. Talk about your role in the game. Well, I, I felt just as tired as everybody else. I think just trying to cheer, and I was so nervous, especially as the game uh, got longer and longer. Uh, I was getting more and more stressful. So um, uh, by the end, I was pretty, I was pretty tired, sweating almost as much as everybody else. And, you know, my job was pretty simple: is keep the guys hydrated, keep uh, you know everything uh, flowing. In the, it was actually pretty chaotic at times uh, in the dressing room, trying to. Uh, scramble to get some food and some water. We ran out of water bottles, so we had to find different ways to, to try to get some jugs full. And for, for the boys, uh, I actually ordered 10 pizzas after the second overtime in case we went any longer. After the third, the guys had a bite to eat and re-energize a bit. So uh, it was it got pretty chaotic, especially guys coming off during periods to uh, getting IVs because of the cramps and between periods trying to help the doctors and trainers try to get milkshakes in and shit, get electrolyte drinks and all that stuff. So I was, you know, I didn't play, but I felt I was pretty involved anyways. Yeah, even standing there with, with Josh Bullio hanging IV bags in the training room. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, we ran, I guess we ran out of hangers hanging hang from the ceiling to put the IV bags on. So we had to hold them up and squeeze the IVs into the guys. And, uh, whenever they, whatever they needed, we, uh, you know, we ran out of a lot of stuff yesterday. Uh, as far as uh, replenish uh, fluids and uh, electrolytes and, and salts and all the stuff, so uh, we were scrambling a little bit to try to be creative and finding uh, ways to get the guys rehydrated. Possibly a little blessing in disguise for the Phantoms with you not having to participate in that uh, you know five overtime game, and especially knowing that you're probably one of the leaders in ice time uh, for the Phantoms. Well, that's certainly. Uh, you know, that might be a key. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow. But, uh, you know, this might be one of the only games where I'm actually as fast as everybody else on the ice. So <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is a great opportunity for us to uh, close the series out. We don't want to be to put, put ourselves in a position where we're vulnerable at Game 7 to a bad bounce or a hot goalie like Leighton's capable of being. So uh, uh, we're going to do everything in our power to try and finish this tomorrow. Obviously, Michael Layton with all those shots and lots being made of his 101 shots on the cage, but Scott Moreau got the win. Yeah, that, that was great for money. He, uh, you know, he did what he, had, he, he did what he had to do. We were out shooting that team pretty bad, and uh, all he had to do is hold his own and just kind of wait for for something to happen at the other end. You'd figure the goalie makes 98 shots in the game, he should get the win, but that, that wasn't the case yesterday. So he, he did a pretty uh, Layton had a pretty outstanding performance, and uh, you know that's. When this series started, that's what we expected is him pulling this team in and uh, their defensive style, their style of team. They, they rely on their goalie a lot. And he's he's really come through in this series. He's been outstanding. So uh, tomorrow we're going to have to do kind of the same uh, game plan is throw everything at the net and work for our rebounds and, and shots because you you're not going to beat them on the first shot very often.